the best revenge against the narcissist. You may feel like the narcissist defeated you, as though they gained an advantage over you, as though they were too strong for you to control. And then they just began a new happy life at the end. They rode off into the sunset after they wasted your time, after they abused you, after they lied to you and made you commit to something that had no future. They tried to trap you in a marriage. They tried to trap you with children. They tried to prevent you from escaping. But at some point, they know their time is up and then they move on to their next situation. Something that they already had lined up. You're left feeling like you were tricked and deceived. You were taken advantage of. But they set up the environment in a way where you can't do anything bad or unpleasant to them. Even after they have treated you unfairly, you can't retaliate. And then they're just sitting back and laughing at you. Because there's nothing you can do about it. But you have to understand that they're not moving on to anything good. They're not moving on to bigger and better things. They're just running away from a situation that is no longer serving them. You started to figure them out. So they're trying to get away. They're trying to escape the consequences of their actions. But they usually end up running into another situation that also isn't serving them. Which they then portray as being better than what it actually is. It's just an act. They might show pictures and videos of them with someone else as though they're having a great time. They usually like to do it at Christmas, New Year, or near Valentine's Day. And it always has to appear like it's something bigger and better than it was with you. To make you feel like you're missing out on something. They want people to see that they haven't gotten lower in amount or level They've moved on to something better, as though they got plenty of money. It's just an act. But this is how you can get revenge. By being mindful that they are going to try to attack you psychologically. They are going to try to affect you. They will go all out to manage the perceptions of the outside world. To show you and everyone else that they've moved on to something better. To show people that they didn't take a loss. But if you pay attention to the details in these pictures and videos. You may see something that reveals that they're not getting lots of money. They're not doing better without you. It will reveal to you that it's all an act. But usually when you're going through this, you're not paying attention to the details. You're honed in on whatever narrative they're trying to feed to you because you want answers. You want to find the next part of the story. You want to see what they're up to. And you see that they're doing all these things now. 
that they never wanted to do with you until it leaves you feeling bad it leaves you feeling sad and depressed because you're not paying attention to the details you're getting caught up emotionally so you don't see all of the things they bought from the bargain store you're caught up in all of the things that follow the narrative of them doing it big you're not paying attention to the details and seeing that they're not really doing big things they're just trying to display an image because they want to hurt your feelings and when you're seeing those pictures and videos of them after they've moved on it gets you caught up emotionally when really you need to identify that they were never doing that when they were with you so how can someone who did everything with such little effort and care move on to another situation and then they're very healthy and successful and doing all of this stuff it doesn't work that way it's all an act it's an illusion they haven't really got the money for anything it's just for their image it's designed to manage people's perceptions of them because they assume that you're still emotionally attached to them after you invested so much of your time energy and money so now they're creating this false appearance with someone else But you should be wondering how can they move on so quickly if they were so deeply invested in you if you were so important to them how could they move on so quickly so what you should do is ignore it ignore everything they're doing don't look at their social media don't look at their pictures or videos because if you do that it just gives them fuel to continue doing what they do when you do that you're just feeding the beast don't play their game don't try to outdo them don't try to outsmart them just be silent be quiet don't even respond because they will notice that you're not calling them they will notice that you're not responding to what they're doing they will notice that you're not even saying anything bad and it will get to them because as long as they see some form of emotional activity they enjoy that they want you to see them they want you to see that they're so much happier without you but it's all fake it should reveal to you that they're just trying to hurt you because no one gets that happy that quickly they're just saying that to hurt you so don't say anything don't respond there is power in silence so move on and be silent take some time to work on yourself because that is the best revenge to be the best person you can be to 
achieve what you always wanted to achieve, to become successful, and they're not going to like it, especially when you no longer have any respect for them, because they can feel when you're no longer attached to them. They can feel when you don't even care. If they're with someone else. And that is often when they will try to come back. When they see that you're doing better without them. Because it eats away at them. And that should be revealed to you by how they're always trying to get your attention. They're always trying to get a reaction out of you. Because there is nothing worse for a narcissist than when their target is no longer thinking about them, when their target no longer cares. That's like death to a narcissist. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsfiver.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.